All right, welcome to Smokey Reacts. I'm your boy, Journalist. And on this one, uh, I seen the thumbnail. I was like, I got to investigate this. So this is from a uh, YouTube channel called The Fellas. This is these two podcasters used to be male escorts. Uh, and it's uh, Fuhad and James from Shits and Giggles. So I was like, I don't actually know anything about them prior to the podcast. It just popped up as two homies just having a giggle together. And I was like, I like that. <laughs> now I'm looking at this, and it's kind of how we got here. So... Thank you for joining me. If you could please hit that like, subscribe, Patreon in the description. Let's get into this. What's going on here? What's what's the what's the the chat? The fellas, the full podcast is available exclusively on Spotify with video for free. So go ahead and follow us on Spotify. It actually helps us out more than you could imagine. For me, to be fair, I tend to, I same as James. I like yeah. to try and be clean as as clean as I possibly can be. Yeah. Legs aside, keep the legs the same. Yeah. Chest clean. I try to keep the pubes clean as well, but I've never done the arsehole. Really? Yeah, I'm, just, with, I, I'm, I'm the, I'm the I same. I just as don't. You. What? What are you going to say? I was going to say, you asked me, like, why? Mm -hmm, the, mm -hmm. the reason, the first time I actually just remembered, the first time I ever did it, and the reason why Sorry. was because him and I back in the day used to work as naked butlers. Oh, yeah. That's cat. That's the first. Oh, mothers, we did. We no, did. no, no, no. You lot, are, I know you lot are, are lying right <laughs> now. You know, what did. these boys are doing right now is they've said beforehand, right, we have to squeeze in <laughs> yeah. this fucking yeah. story <laughs> yeah. about us doing it. And I know, no, I swear to God, I know. I know. We we swear, don't fucking, don't come on my podcast we and did. try and make me look like a oh naked. My God. I know <laughs> you're not fucking naked. Swear brothers. down, bro. Swear down. What the fuck? All right, so hold on. I'm a... Sorry, fellas. We we know we're watching fellas, but so everybody can be seen. I'm gonna just put this right here, so it just it look better. There we go. Now we're all chilling in the room together. So I'm we're at uni. When we're at uni, yeah. We then you would have had your asshole shaved. No. Yeah. No, uh, my didn't. asshole was shaved, bro. I didn't. My ass and my asshole was hair, bro. Natural. That's what I'm you saying. You're not getting fair. paid a bag if it's not if that's not sorted. Oh no. They, Wait, you charge half the price to him then for that? They nah, pay, they, they pay they us they, the same. They, they pay the same. The Henson give um, it was only like two, three hour gigs though. Yeah, I it was like was 50 pound an 50, hour. 50, yeah, that was it. 50, I thought it was 25 or 50, I couldn't remember. It was like 10, 11 years ago. It was a long yeah, time ago. Yeah, it was ago, like bro. 50 pound an hour for like a, a three hour ago. gig. So you'd make like 150 a night. You do like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah. most weeks. So you come out. All right, produce Cal. That's Cal, good be fucking money. Fucking I'm searching here. for a picture. Bro, bro is <laughs> that the buff? You can Why Google it. I don't know about like in the UK. Like, I don't know if you guys have this joke, but like in America, we have the, like my FBI guy. It's like, because just being suspicious of our like of our government we're just like oh there's some fbi guy who's just like monitoring all my like google searches is that like a thing over here where you guys like on oh, my mi6 guy because like you know my fbi guy i know sometimes he's like what the fuck is this man fucking googling well, don't google that bro like that's not something you should search that's what we work. What do you think is a game? I don't bro. know if we're gonna be on the website or anything, but this was a long time, <laughs> a long ago, time bro. ago. Wait, so we're, we're, all right, all right, straight up, 100%. Because I'm, I'm actually about to start asking you lots of questions about this. Yeah, go for so it. So if bro. you, if you've trolled me, then you, you've no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> butlers in the buff. Uh, butlers in the what? Buff. Yeah, that's buff. What was cool. Okay, okay, okay. What was that like? What was, you guys must have some crazy stories. Bro, tonight. it was, it was a weird, crazy experience because it's obviously something we've never done before and we were in uni so yeah it was like 19 19 18 19 so at that point like we're, we're kids basically <laughs> we're yeah. kids in like a jungle at yeah. this point you know right. so that's, that's naturally what it is yeah so when yeah. we the first i think the first one we did what did we do it together yeah we went up to, Where was we it? drove up to scunthorpe fucking up. fucking scunthorpe. scunthorpe and did wait what the f scunthorpe no 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 what the fuck? where the fuck is that no I'm fucking up. It's welcome back to the Hushville. I don't give a fuck. I'm trying to find Scunthorpe. I'm not even spelling it right. Oh wow, it's with a C. Where the fuck is this at? Zoom out, blood. How far? Gee! Them niggas is far from home, blood. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Oh, blood. <laughs> 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 the niggas went far to shake the betty. That's ridiculous. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah, like first Shout out to the niggas. The niggas gonna check. Did it there. I it was, was shit. It was you know what, though, to be fair, though. 150 to go a couple hours away, three nights a week, 
and I get fucking random birds, it's not a bad deal, actually. It's not bad at all. Um, a whole thing, no? Yeah, it was in some, like, uh, Especially it was, like, like some 18, 19? With some woman, and then... Uh, Is that how you guys met? No, nah, no, sorry. we met no, no, already uni. living together. Every okay. Year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uni, though, and we yeah. both just decided Same to course, do it, because yeah. we were broke as shit. Um, I, mean, I imagine it pays pretty well. Yeah, they were oh, it was great. paying decent. Well, in comparison to yeah, uni, of course, it we're was just living it. off your loan. And I think it was every couple of weeks or every month. Every couple of weeks you got paid. I think. Yeah, every two weeks every you two get weeks paid. You got paid yeah. And um, it started because me and another housemate was so broke that we were looking into like being escorts. <laughs> Like yeah, male escorts, I'd, I'd, I'd fuck like old women if it means I can like stop eating chicken and pasta like three yeah, times 100%. a day. Yeah, hundred percent. So we were looking at like websites, and then we couldn't find any. And then literally the next best thing that kept popping up was like naked butter stuff, and we just started going to gym. And I was like, fuck it, man, like Why might not? as well try. Yeah. So then I had to do this really pervy Zoom call with like the oh, owner of the company, oh, who would make you like. Is this a guy as well? Yes, a guy, dude. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Imagine like a really bald dude with like a fat mustache, and he would just that. be there like, yep, yeah, that's great. Right yeah. now, like, turn around, turn get around. your kit off. And then you'd be like, yeah, turn around. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> and he's just like, no sweating. I'm like, fruitly sweating. I always, I'm always interested in hearing these type of stories because I always think about my life at this time and I'm just like, fuck. I was either, like, getting enough time with women that I didn't hyper, I didn't, like, dive hypersexually into will say anything because I was getting what I guess I needed at that age range sexually from the women I was dealing with. So I never got like so down bad that I needed this. And I always had just like a little bit of money or just some way that like, I never was like, oh fuck, I gotta, I fuck old ladies for money. And then I got into music like heavy. So I've always kind of like had a distraction. So when I hear people do these things, I'm like, fuck. Or like some of my homies that are like porn stars, I'm just like, how did you get here, yo? Like, I have no problem with it. None at all. Your life is your life. It's just... I, when I hear these things, I'm like, I wasn't doing fucking shit. I was just making music. <laughs> I was just in a room. <laughs> you were out living your life. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> but it was like, it was like, Stomach up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you they just, yeah, up. he'd be like, all right, cool. Like, yeah. Well, so he, did, he didn't actually care about the size of your chopper at all. No, nah, he no, didn't no, care about your dick. Really? He wore an apron and but, you, but for these shows, though, you, you whack it out? Nah, nah bro. So really? you really? no, 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 you'll no. be ass naked, you have a bow tie, yeah. an apron that comes down to like halfway down and your like thighs, cufflinks. Yeah. and cufflinks. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. my yeah, yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. I did that for a couple of years. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, you just go to like hen parties, and then just you'd realize that women are fucking disgusting. I women was literally going to say, surely these, these women were there like... Yeah, they're yeah. Uh, If you follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram if you want. I'm not like actually doing a call out for that. Just I have been working at this place called Bongo Bingos. I'm not actually working, just like going and helping the homie just like hand out food and that. So I'm not actually working. But like I've been going. And he's got it set up to where he's the only food stall in this place that sells like beer and alcohol. So like there's like three, four other food stalls around the place. Or excuse me, alcohol, like bars. Excuse me. And then there's the one food stall where I'm at. At the beginning of the night, it's calm. By the end of the night, these women turn feral. Like, <sighs> bro, I've I've been assaulted so much. I've been assaulted so much. I'm just like, what the fuck is this? And like, don't get me wrong, as a man, you think you like yeah, I want this attention. But when it turns into aggressive attention, it becomes a different level. Like, it's, they're just as bad as us. They're just as bad. This is why I always had, like, men and women suck stance. And now that I do this and I get to, like, see it from, like, the other side where, like, I get treated like a proper piece of meat, like a proper piece of meat, I'm just like, oh, it's dark. It's dark. These women are just as bad as the men. It's crazy. It's crazy. Way worse than dudes. Anyone who thinks that guys are worse, like on mm. stag dudes yeah. or whatever, women are a mini. I can promise you now. Women take advantage. Yeah. Or they try 100%. to take advantage. Hundred yeah. percent. That's that's what I would say. They take advantage because if I were to do, or if a man was to do some of the things that they've done to me, while I'm working, or in this place, I'd have a case cuss. It would be a problem but they get a little bit more cachet they get to do a little xyz and i'm just like ah. i'm also not gonna lie I, I do like the tension i'm not gonna lie it is nice 
That's why I don't particularly care. But if it was somebody else, oh, none of this shit is allowable. It's not okay. It's not okay. I say it's okay because I'm okay with it. But if somebody else was not okay with it, but they, they're taking advantage. They're taking advantage. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Women are worse. They definitely tried to like grab. Oh, dude, they'll yeah. pin you down and they just like do shots at your belly button and shit. Like it was crazy. Crazy shit. Bite and they're just like, yeah, they just Pinching bite you. Asses. Like, yeah, they try and grab you. Trying to get you upstairs. Yeah, they'd like offer to like suck you off in the bathroom. And stuff did like did that. they offer you like extra peas? Like, uh, to stay and to stuff. Stay, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it'd always be like a random country house <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> really? Yeah, where there's no signal on your phone <laughs> or anything. And you'd rock up there and there'd be like 20 women and it's like, ma- like massive mansion. It's at, the t- at the age, fucking intimidated. Oh, yeah. You'd think you'd be up to just, like, if it was this day, yeah. I'll just be smacking it. <laughs> I'll just be going through everything. Yeah. But when but, I was like a 19 year old kid bro? and some like 45, like 45 year old woman's just like, oh, do you want me to like suck you off? And you're like, <laughs> I don't know, you know. Oh, I'm feel right. <laughs> and they're like, oh, I'll give you like 100 quid if you just start, stay the night. Yeah. And you're just like, fuck, like, I'm actually really scared. Like, I have no <laughs> idea. And plus, they're like super on it. Like, if we ever catch you, like, fucking like clients, then you are. Oh, the company? Exactly. The company. Yeah, the company. Like, they yeah, really yeah, gave a shit about yeah, that. Yeah, of course. Of and course. the thing is, as well, is like, the women will probably snake you as well. Like, you got complained yeah. about like three times, but they'd like try and fuck him or kiss him and stuff. And then they'd complain to the company. Because I wasn't doing my part <laughs> like for example i went to one i can't remember where it was but it was a hall and it was in the middle of like probably november december fucking freezing as you can imagine yeah. obviously um, james explained the uniform cufflinks apron bow tie that's it i'm starkers i'm naked yeah so of course i'm not gonna be my normal self right your freezing dick must top. have been tiny oh yeah it must have it probably was tiny and yeah. i was shaking my arm literally yeah. shaking my arm <laughs> That's just the crazy, just one liner out of nowhere. Your dick must have been tiny. <laughs> Who's my man on the right though? Cause I could watch him. He just sounds funny. I don't know who my my G is though. But shout out to the fellas podcast though. Awesome. Cheeks is and they're like, funny he's so working. Yeah. He's working. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not there to entertain. I'm just trying to be warm, you know. And you're there for like two, three hours. Yeah. And those two, three hours are gonna go so slow because it's so cold. Yeah. And yeah. they just complain, complain. Because I'm not. I don't want to entertain. Because I don't want to be there, you know. Yeah. Of it's course. just not. Fa- it's not fair on us. It's yeah, not yeah, fair yeah. on us. Yeah. And then I think a few weeks later, the um the boss man hollered and was like, "Oh, we got a complaint from this lady because you weren't doing this or you weren't doing." That. I was like, "Big man, it was. It was like, like minus three, minus three <laughs> degrees. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. like minus three degrees. What do you expect from me? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I had that in Birmingham. That's the day I quit. Actually, my last shift was like they rented out a fucking club in Bir- on Broad Street in yeah. Birmingham, and it was completely empty. But they had the air con- It was like, I remember it was December because they had the fucking German market there, and freezing cold mm. and they had air con on full blast oh. in this club and it was literally me and like a table full of like these fat middle-aged women <laughs> and i'm freezing my tits off and then all i do is like give them a drink and then like sprint into the toilet and put like their hand dryer on and like sit under the hand dryer <laughs> oh warm up. my Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. sometimes it was unbearable it seems like when you actually look at the website and stuff you it shows is sick. You, th- you think yeah man this, <laughs> this is gonna is be life. me for years yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. see the, it's Jobs like this and stories like this where I'm just like, I wish both sides of the argument for men and women would just agree and work towards the understanding that sex work is real work. Because even at this level, there's not enough men talking about the downsides of what it's like to be like a Chippendales dancer or like a, a butler dancer or any of these fucking things. They just make it seem like ah oh, it's just like some under the radar type shit and i'm just like that's crazy that that's somebody's work environment that i didn't even think about bro being cold and then i'm not even thinking about shorty being cold just everybody just is dealing with shit that i've just not even had to think about and then we just act like these people aren't providing services that people want to enjoy or like to participate with and i just don't get it like the world we live in is in such a prudish state that I just feel like it causes so many other problems. So like when I hear these type of conversations or I appreciate the fact how open they can be about like being nervous at being a young man, getting a proposition by an older woman and being like, ah, I don't particularly know how I can handle this. Like being honest and showing that these are the actual things that men go through, I think is actually a more healthy way to show what the full scope of what manhood actually encapsulates because it's not just being the tough guy who could whip everybody's fucking ass all the goddamn time like there's 
such a wide scope of what we go through as men that I guess that's probably why I appreciate their podcast so much and then like how they're going through the story right now. That's probably why I've stuck around so long. It's crazy I'm noticing this during this particular fucking snippet, but hey, it is what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have yeah. one yeah. shit job and you're like, mate, fuck, fuck this. this. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> fuck this. I got, was, I got sacked anyway. So oh, yeah, 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 I got yeah, sacked. Yeah. <laughs> I got fucking sacked. <laughs> <laughs> what just good to complain? Yeah, just like, complain. I wasn't yeah, on it. If I'm cold and I'm not cold, I'm just not on it. I don't care anymore. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. I just don't care anymore. But yeah, that's that was it. Mad. And what were they charging out? Were they were they making bank off of you guys then? Oh yeah, definitely. I'm I think I asked one woman how much they paid. They paid like different rates and stuff. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure they were paying. I think they were making at least a hundred pound an hour off of us. So okay. we'd get fifty an hour. Mm. I think they were making. So it's oh, probably so like hundred fifty an hour. Mm. Wow. And they were they, yeah they were making cash. And then Jesus. sometimes we do massive events. We went, I did one, what was that? The Slim Fast fucking awards. Okay. In Birmingham. Oh, yeah, one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 just yeah. There. That wasn't easy because that was like seven hours. And I had trousers on as well. Oh, so damn. yeah, I was just making cake that day. But that's, that's the, yeah, I can imagine. That's actually probably all right. That, yeah, those, the corporate like, events are decent. Ones, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you make loads of money and then there's like loads of other butlers there as well. Okay. So, so it's just you and like, yeah, 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 yeah. Lo- you and just like a bunch of dudes and like you just get compliments and it's like not invasive and everything is cool. Whereas like the hen party ones are terrifying i remember the right. one where i think i had already been sacked at this point and he was still working there i mean he invited me oh, i invited you invited to one to, it was a mansion and some hot tub spot as well it was fun <laughs> as well do you remember do you yeah remember? there yeah, was yeah. actually yeah to be fair in derby <laughs> i can't remember in derby yeah yeah, 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 yeah you weren't even working there but you started your uniform fucking sacked and then get I, the uniform on <laughs> like this <laughs> is a like, fucking <laughs> pop <pulper. laughs> literally i was like mate just i don't want to drive to derby by myself like get in the car get yeah. shit and then i knocked on the door and i just told her oh like my mate had a job down the road but it got cancelled and we came up together so like you just I actually got to do some two seconds. You got two bullets for the yeah. price of one. And he said, don't tell a single Yeah, soul. I had to tell him, don't fucking tell anyone that he's here. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. like, they're gonna, I'm gonna have, I just made us some lie that, oh, they won't pay him if I, if like yeah. all this stuff, like I'm just gonna tell him. Mm. So we got in there and then, mate, they were cracking on. They were. I don't know why we didn't fuck them. I, fam, I don't know. Because Honestly, they were, that was like, the best one. That probably. was the best that was probably one, yeah, one of the we best were in the ones. Yeah. And what is a hen, uh, a that hen, was a hen party. Yeah, yeah, They've got to be well up to that. Like, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. I went to, yeah, the best one, actually, no, to be fair, I went to one uh, in like Cambridge or something, and the the hen was disgustingly hot. Yeah, like I disgrace, think I remember disgracefully this one. I remember hot. This one. And oh. then her mate, her maid of honor, was fucking hot as well. I remember. I and then so I, I went out there in the middle so of the jealous. summer, and I went out to the garden, Fuck. and then they were like, um, "Oh, like, oh, have you ever, like, have you ever had like a boner on a job before?" Yeah. And I was like, "Nah, like, I've never had a boner." She was like, "Cool. Um, <laughs> well, like, today's gonna be the day you get a boner." And I was like, I promise you, like, I'm not going to get a boner. <laughs> and they were like, cool, like, game on. Yeah. Yeah. So the oh whole three God. hours was literally just her, like, trying to grab my dick, like, invite me into the toilet. Just like, I think she gave me, like, a massage at one point. She gave me a lap dance at one point. Um, Bro, it sounds like you should have been paying well. her. She had, she had tits. Yeah, yeah she had ridiculously <laughs> fake tits. Yeah. <laughs> and it was just the best day ever. Um, and I think I ended up, I did, I think I made out, like, I made out with her, like, in, yeah. in the front garden before I left. Um, but her mum was there, so her mum was like, just fucking stop. And then she got ass naked as well. Did she? Yeah, she just got ass naked. She was like, oh, I just, had a, Bra- I just had a Brazilian. Do you want to see? And I was like, mate, oh, crack geez. on. Yeah, yeah. And then she just got ass naked and they just started running around. It was Jealous. sick. The thing is with like jobs like that, I always feel like no matter what, you're gonna come out of it with stories. Yeah, for oh, sure. Right. Yeah, so yeah, regardless yeah, for sure. of like the pay, regardless of like mm-hmm. how shit the job might have been, like you'll always have those stories. Mm. And I mean like I, uh, in times like that is, it's kind of worth it regardless. It's because sure. I they just I love shit where I can walk away from it. Even if I think it was shit, I'll walk away saying at least I have a story to tell. Yeah, that's right. what we used to do all yeah, the time. Yeah. That's do how we did that. I understand what he's saying. I partially agree, but fuck that noise. I hate fucking taking a job and all I got left is fucking stories. Fuck that noise. That's terrible. It's I get the sentiment. Work someplace, you get some stories. Even though the place was shit, you get good stories. I have jobs like that. It's just, no. Fuck. I don't want to have to waste no more time. And I don't want nobody else to waste no time. So I don't want no little nigga be like, ah, like, if I get a shit job, hopefully I'll leave here with some good stories. Nah, little nigga, if you got a shit job and you don't have to actually work there, find another one and then quit. So you don't fuck up your money. But get the fuck out of that place. And if you're just not a little nigga, you're just somebody out here working at a shit job, fucking find another one and get the fuck out of there. Or start doing whatever the fuck you love. 
Fuck that shit. Fuck that noise. Fuck that. Ah, no. Uh uh-uh. uh. Fuck that. Like, uh-uh. that's what he did. Yeah, my only experience was like a that fucking struck a chord with me. But I'm I used sorry, to, every I couldn't time do it. Be like, the fellas are gonna laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah the fellas story. are gonna laugh. Yeah, 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 for the story. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, shout out to Foo Head and James, man. Shout out to them, man. Like they've for sure grown on me because I, if you watch my channel, I was like, yo, I'm not not watching niggas podcast, I'm not checking that shit out. And then just over time, social media just kept seeing them. I was just like, let me just check it out, and I checked it out. And now, they are probably one of my newer favorite things that I do actually to react to or just like check out on the side. So shout out to them, man. This was actually good, good clickbait title as well. It's one of those, oh shit. These niggas, somebody's busting them. Ah, oh, they're just, it's Foohead and James, keeping it 100. I have no problem. They're not trying to hide anything with their past or anything. It's definitely a dope story to hear as well. So, yeah, it's a good video. Thank you guys for joining me. Shout out to the Fellas Podcast. Uh, somebody can fill me in if you're a fan of theirs, please. Let me know if there's other clips you want me to check out. Uh, obviously, I'm still watching Shits and Gigs. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for joining me. Hit that like, subscribe. Patreon's in the description. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.